The insecure person has a compulsive need for order and stability and goes to great lengths to avoid the strange and the unexpected. The healthy person also seeks order and stability, but it is not the life or death necessity that it is for the neurotic. The mature person also has an interest in the new and the mysterious. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that there's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. At one point in time, you ought to see what living's like. But the only way to see what living like, you got to jump. And here's the problem. Let me just be real with you. When you first jump, let me tell you something. Your parachute will not open right away. I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could tell you it did, but it don't. When you jump, it's not going to open right away. You're going to hit them rocks. You're going to get some skin tore off on them cliffs. You're going to get some cuts on you. You're going to be bleeding pretty bad. But eventually, eventually, the parachute has to open. What happens is that life, like a tornado, spins us around with all of the different obligations and belief systems, ideas, demands that the world places on us. And we get lost in it. Just like you could imagine if you got picked up by a tornado. Right? What I'm asking you to do is to learn how to step out of the tornado. And as Alice Walker said, the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. People lose sight of the fact that we always get a choice. No matter what happens in your life, the one thing that you get to choose at all times is the meaning that you ascribe to it. No one can take that away. And as you begin to discover the truth of who you are, whatever challenge that you're facing in life, and if you're living, you're facing some challenge, you'll begin to know that you're powerful and that you're America maker. Close the door to these destructive, limiting, defeating thoughts. But sometimes we believe them so long, they become a part of who we are. Imagine fear, worry, doubt, insecurity living in your house, dragging you down, stealing your joy, taking your peace. That may be the way it's been, but this is going to be a new day. It's time to do some house cleaning. You need to evict some tenants that have been living in your mind. Would you agree that positive thinking won't let you do anything, but it will let you do everything better the negative thinking will. Positive thinking will permit you to use the qualities which you have. And when you use the qualities which you have, my friend, you can get the things in life that you really want. People resist change because of tradition. Cambridge University professor F. M. Cornford said, Nothing is ever done until everyone is convinced that it ought to be done and has been convinced for so long that it is now time to do something else. Many people cling to tradition. The assumption is that if something is tradition, it must be a better way. But that's not necessarily so. Here's a riddle that shows what I mean. How many traditionalists does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is four. One to change it and three, to talk about how wonderful the old bulb was. If a tradition connects you to other people or to your personal history, it can be a good thing. If it doesn't, then it may be time to try something else. Preparation Points for Successful Change The keys to dealing with change successfully are having a good attitude toward it and being prepared to meet it. The following ideas can help you to do those things. 1. Change will happen whether you like it or not. It's said that a Duke of Cambridge once said, Any change at any time for any reason is to be deplored. I feel sorry for people like him. They have a hard time dealing with reality and experience a difficult life. Change is unavoidable. The only thing certain about tomorrow is that it will be different from today. If you doubt that, consider this. My grandfather had a farm. My parents had a garden, and I've got 
a can opener. It's a different world than it was 20 years ago, and it will be different in another 20. But the good news is that the world changes so fast that you couldn't stay wrong all the time if you tried. 2. Without change, there can be no improvement. I am not a proponent of change for its own sake. That's often a characteristic of restlessness and can be a symptom of personal inner conflict. Honestly, change can represent both possible opportunities and potential losses. Even though all progress brings change, not all change brings progress. But as leadership expert Max Dupree observed, we cannot become what we need by remaining what we are. If you desire growth, then you must embrace change. General Douglas MacArthur stated, Life is a lively process of becoming. If you haven't added to your interests within the past year, if you are thinking the same old thoughts, relating the same personal experiences, having the same predictable reactions, rigor mortis of the personality has set in. If you don't change the direction you are going, then you're likely to end up where you're heading. When you want something you've never had, then you have to do something you've never done. That means changing.